Hello everyone, in this week's After Effects quick tip tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to use a script to load a web page. This means you can click on a button, an image, or any actuation to load up a web page, whether you're on a Mac or a Windows. So all we have to do is click on the image inside of our script and it's going to take us to a very useful article on doges. So a fun little example, but very effective in just having a logo in your script or another button that takes them to your website. So we're gonna be using a couple things from previous scripts today, including the OS check function, which is used to tell you if your user is on a Mac or a Windows. So let's go ahead and get started. I have a JavaScript file already loaded up here with our OS check function. So we can go ahead and get started with a little bit of a head start. So the first thing I'm gonna do really quick is set up my UI. So I'm gonna first have an image, which is gonna be my main image in the center here. And this is gonna be set to a variable called image one. And this is gonna be a file which I have in my pictures. So I'll reference my pictures and make sure I get the right image here. And then I just need to set up this very basic UI, which is simply a window with just an image in it. Of course, your UI might be more complex, but for example purposes for today's quick tip, we're just gonna make it short. So I'll create a new variable called main window and set it equal to a new window. It's gonna be a palette window. It doesn't really need a name and we'll give it undefined parameters here. Although the orientation doesn't matter, it's always good practice, so I'll set it to row. And then I'll just create my one group here called group one, which will be part of our main window. And inside of it, we're gonna add a group, undefined size, and we'll call it group one. Then the orientation for group one, will just set to row or column, whatever is best for your case. And finally, a variable for our main image here. We'll just create a variable called preview image and we'll set this equal to our variable previously up here called image one. So we're gonna be using image one for our preview image, but we need to add the UI element of an image. So this is going to be group one. We're gonna add an image with undefined size, and now we're gonna use image one inside of here. Then below, just to make sure it's working, I'll grab my main window and center it, and then again, my main window and show it. Now we have the image successfully in our UI. Now we just need to add the interactivity to load the web page. So the reason we need to have an OS check is because in order to launch the web page, we're actually going to basically run a command prompt or terminal command in order to load up the web page. And these commands vary depending on what kind of OS you have. So we need to add an event listener or an on click to our image here in order to actuate um, the launching of the website. So I'm going to grab my preview image here, and since it is an image, I'm going to need to add an event listener. And if you're not familiar with event listeners, they're basically like on click, or just when you click on something or hover over it, you can define what action and then what function to go into afterward based on that action. So we're basically gonna say if they click on it in this case, we're going to go into the function called logo click. And inside of event listeners, you don't need to put in parentheses. And then lastly, we don't want it to further propagate, so we'll set it to false, which just means it won't mess up anything later. So when we click on the preview image, load the function called logo click. So we should probably define the function called logo click. And inside of here is where the code to go to the website's gonna be. So first I'll create a variable called user OS version. And I'm gonna set this equal to my OS check function. So I'm gonna run OS check and it's gonna tell me either PC or Mac. If the user OS version is equal to Mac, or if it's a Mac, we wanna do something. If the user OS version is equal to a PC, then do something else. If you think your users are running scripts on Linuxes, this is the best way to ensure that things won't mess up. But if you know it's just PC or Mac, then you don't really need to use two if statements. You can just add an else, because if it's not a Mac, it's probably a Windows computer. So now we're gonna create a variable called URL launch code, which sounds like we're launching rockets into space, but we're really just getting some code to give command prompts. In the case of the Mac, the code is just gonna be open. And if we make the same variable inside of our assumed PC code, it's going to be start. So on a Mac to open a website, you say open, and on a Windows, you say start. 
Then the last thing we need to do is grab our system and that's gonna reference our entire computer system and we're going to call the system to do something. And this code is gonna be the same on Mac and Windows, so I'll just copy and paste it. And now for the actual code that's going into command prompt to launch the website. On a Mac, we're gonna start with our URL launch code, which in this case, again, is gonna be open. Uh, we're gonna first add a, a space because each command uh, needs a space between it. And then we're going to add our actual website to go to. So inside of double quotes, go ahead and put whatever website you want. I'm going to copy and paste this legendary website right here. And then on the Windows section, the bit of code that we're going to need to put starts with calling command prompt. So we need to say cmd.exe to call it. And we're going to use the C flag and add a space because we're about to add another command, which is the URL launch code. And then we're going to add another space and then just like before, add our website. So now let's go ahead and run it and make sure it's working okay. I'm on a Windows and I'm gonna click on the Doge and now it's successfully launched the website for me. All right, everyone, that's gonna do it for this week's quick tip tutorial. I hope you enjoyed. That's how to load a web page using a script. If you enjoyed, be sure to smash the thumbs up button. If you have any questions or comments or requests, leave them in the comments down below. And as always, we'll see you guys next time.